When you hear the sound of the gong, you will look deeply into the eyes of your partner and you will know if they are your soulmate or not. to tell. He was or he wasn't. What they do for a living. Doesn't matter, Mom. He didn't tick any of your boxes, just like John. He wasn't very financially stable. But he could afford buying me an uh, expensive watch. So why miss the perfect breakup with you when you bring up marriage, hmm? He didn't say it's over, over, Mom. He's just spread too thin at work and he needs some space. So why are you dating all these other men? Because, Mom, it's helping take my mind off him while I wait for him to call. <laughs> Lady, get off your phone. Olive, Olive, have some pride. Promise me you won't call him. Mother, I live with my son. I'm the So, no John today? Nope, just me. I'm um, Ciao, ciao. Have a great day. Oh, I'm going to pack my bags to catch a town. Let's go to Cactus Bay. Busy Monday afternoon, I'm chilling at the so I decided that by this time next year I shall be married and pregnant, hopefully to John. And I'm going to do it through positive thinking because I've been doing it all wrong. The trick is to see what you want already in your life, not in the future. Just like I do with my parking angels. What the hell are they? My parking angels. Whenever I need a parking place, I ask them for a spot and I always get one. Power of positive thinking. But you park in loading bays and get tickets. Mr. Omar, how are we today? Hey. Okay, let's get you comfy. Put your head right over here. And let's move you up. You know, your children are very lucky to still have you. I wish my dad was still alive. He was very kind and very funny. We got to first meet you. My word. All of your teeth cleaning paste has been put up for an environmentally innovative award. Well done, it's great news. Thank you, Dr. J. Mr. Omar, are you sleeping again? No, 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 no. Come on, Athena, just a drop. No, I will definitely have, thanks. All right. Super. Well, I suppose you always said you didn't believe in marriage. For three years? Seriously? I mean, it can't mean nothing. I mean, how can you even think of a future with a man who's 1.1 meter tall with his hands in the air? <laughs> Ouch, that's a little harsh, Mrs. B. Just give him time, man. Maybe he'll realize what he's lost. I hope so. Because if what we had wasn't it, then I don't know what is. Stop pestering him. Let him go. We need to ask Cole. 
Make him wait at least a day before calling him back. A week? Make the guy sweat a bit. <laughs> Boys, I'm not asking again. Make an appointment before they all fall out. Okay. My favorite, Ruskell's. Oh, hi. You can forget about having rascals. Why can't you find a rich man to look after you? It's not that difficult. Hello, doesn't he taken care of? She's doing fine on her own. Thanks, E. Actually, I'm up for an award for Naturally White. Oh, well done. Congrats. Congrats. You won't have your good looks forever. She doesn't need looks for a sperm donor. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Oh, what's that? I've never heard of a sperm that can show a woman the world and spoil her with beautiful things. <laughs> Thanks, C, but I actually do want the romance of creating a child with a man that I love. I don't like this soup. Trust me, nothing romantic about having children. Okay, folks, welcome to speed dating. You have two minutes per person. At the end of each round, the men, you'll move to your left. Now, don't exchange phone numbers. Only when the evening is over, you can log onto our website and exchange details with the person or persons you're interested in. Right. Time. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. You go, please. Okay. Um, when I graduated from law school, um, I realized it wasn't for me. And so I joined the United Nations. Wow. Which area? Environment. So you're saving the planet? <laughs> well, that's if there will be one left for our kids, Michael. Our <laughs> uh, kids. <laughs> Hello, Stefan from Stellenbosch. Hi. Hi. Okay, open up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm not doing anything yet, see? Oh, nasty. Uh -uh. Dr. Jacobs is gonna have to remove the what? Yep. Oh, oh no, uh-uh, uh-uh, oh, uh -uh. Uh -uh. no, uh-uh. Are you serious? Yes, yes, I'm serious. Ah. Uh. Such a wuss. Fine, gas it will have to be. Okay, breathe in and out, and just relax. So how many kids were you planning on having with the UN guy? You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a slip of the old tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a funny word. Tongue. He's such a nerd. <laughs> what is a tongue? <laughs> 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 Stop it. So stupid. <laughs> Wait, we're still laughing, right? I know. <laughs> no, don't respond, Olive. I'm gonna hyperventilate. Look, look at me, look. The positive thing is that you have me all to yourself, okay? <laughs> it's... It's okay. Oh, God! I shouldn't have put him on the spot. He obviously needed more time. Oh, he's cute. Ow! 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 He's not looking. No, I think I really heard it. Oh. Mm, it's a classic tear in the calf. Did you feel anything before it happened? No. How old are you? I'm 35. Why? What does that have to do with anything? It's all downhill from here. <sighs> Come on, can I just get a break here, please? John? 
Olive, hi. Late lunch? Um, Olive, this is Mary. Wow. That was quick, mate. What happened to you? Oh. <laughs> Nothing. I just <sighs> tore my calf when I fell off the kitchen counter having sex with C. <laughs> <laughs> Right. 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 <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Olive. He's such a chop. You're too good for him. <sighs> Just give it a break, Mom. I'm not in the mood. Some wine for you? No. So, what brought you to South Africa, Mrs. P? My husband and I left during the coup. <laughs> that must have been difficult, leaving your whole family behind. Do you go back often? Never. What's the point? None of Olive's grandparents are alive. Except your sister is alive. She doesn't speak to you anymore. Maybe it's time you forgave her, Mom. You don't know what you're talking about. I would, if you told me. Leave it, Olive. There you go, ma'am. So, Olive says your husband's family owns a house there. Do you know who lives in it? Did he have siblings? No. No. <clears throat> so the house must be in your name, Mom. It was Aleko's family home, not mine. I have no intention of going back there. That is so ridiculous. We could have a house in Greece. I told you, I'm not interested. It's not worth it. So much red tape in that country is impossible. Then I'll go sort it out. No, you won't. You can't keep running away every time you have your heart broken. I'm not running away. I'm going to find my dad's house. I forbid it. You can't forbid me. I'm not a child. Olive, listen to me. No good will come of it. Look, what about Dr. Jacobs? I don't care. I've got to get away. You... She's not the same since her father died. Helen, hi. Um, listen, we're about to take off. Please won't you check in on my mom every now and again? Sure, hon. I'm not going to get international roaming. I just Hello. don't trust myself not to call. Mm, good idea. Have a good time. It is so important, please. Thank you. The captain's already asked you to turn your phone off and put your seat up. All right. So we're about to take off. I can find the Papadopoulos house. Papadopoulos. Wait! Move it on! Turn right! Then 
What are you looking for? My late father's house. Who is your father? You wouldn't know him. Try me. Aleko Papadopoulos. His house. Earthquake. What earthquake? Before I born. Says who? Me. And my mother. Sorry, there's no rooms. Nothing? Um, do you know where else I can try? Oh, it's only one hotel. In the entire village. I'm no room at the inn. Not a single room in the entire village. Who told you that? <sighs> the guy in the hotel. Manoli? He is lying. The hotel, she's empty. Why would he lie? Great can be like that. 
Yeah, you're one of them. To you, I look Greek. <sighs> Outside sleeping, not so bad. I like it. Yeah, you would. You're seven years old. Seven and a half. Sorry, seven and a half. What about snakes and bugs? Mm, no snakes, no bugs. Only... You'll be fine. It's sold. Yeah, I know, I'm buying it. No, it is sold. Okay, so how do I know if it's sold or not? You ask me. Right, I get it. Uh, can I have some oil for the lamps, please? Oh, we've run out. Of course you have. 12 euros. They've gone up. <laughs> Do you want them or don't you? Forget it. Thank you. Wait. Five percent. Ten. Seven. Ten. You <sighs> drive a hard bargain. My father teaches me good. Did he also teach you to speak English? Yes, and you too. Right. Get me. My friends call me John. Olive. You're joking. I'm not. My parents have a sense of humor. What if you run away with it? It's a small village, trust me. I won't get him very far.
Ah, you're back. Bravo. How was it? It was freezing. We stopped over in Canada and Alaska. Pray I got another route next time. Nikos! Thanks, Piero. And Axe. Have me knee bout. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have anything for the itch? It's driving me crazy. Don't worry, Spira. I'll get it. It's five euros. No, put, put it down. You're going to be invited to a wonderful dinner party. A uh, puli puli sintoma. Fantastic food. Ooh. The best you ever had. Oreo penny. Huh? <laughs> Am I the only one who work in the village? Ah, Spiro. What happened to you? You're everywhere except home, aren't you? But you said no bugs. I said no snakes. Did you ever brush your teeth? No, I hate it. They will fall out one day and you'll be sorry. No, I won't. Want to go fishing? Thought there were no fish left in the Mediterranean. You have to know how to look. Want to go? No. Nope. Swimming? No. It helped your leg. What's it going to take to get rid of you? Forget it. I know you take shower with sweet water. Sweet water? <laughs> gypsy, gypsy, gypsy. <laughs> sure. I mean, that would be nice. Scratching, the more you're itching. Hey, I told you to turn around. It's like life. The more you're thinking, the worse it's being. Thanks for the words of wisdom, Jess. Whose house is this, by the way? My friend's. Oh, good. Why are you in my house? Where is your garden? Hey! Come back here! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Are you okay, Olive? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Olive. Mm -hmm. I help you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Where did this come from? Elena Dume. Hi. I think I'm allergic to whatever you gave me yesterday. There is a cockerel announcing bad news. Tea! 
Here. Put this under. And uh, drink the tablets for the bubs. Why are you limping? I tore my cough muscle. Oh, po, po, po. Here. This. This will help with the cow muscle. No, please, please, no. No money. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, I'm not sure if you'd know. My father has a house here. It's the one that came down in the earthquake. Do you know who I can speak to about getting the well in the garden fixed? No. It can't be done. Your grandfather blocked it up after the war. Did you know my grandparents? Because my mother still has a sister here. She left the village a long time ago. There's no one here who can help you. Why you don't go home? It's difficult for you here. What? I won't fix it. No, well, what are you doing? What is wrong with you people? Mila fisis aftiti a idea etho. Ventose. What the hell, Tothello? Valto prostasto farmakio. Mori. Es que mis Tothello ma prostamas. To apus afto. Grinch does not agree with you. I've noticed. Don't worry. It's not you. It's your mother. Mother? Why? I can't help you with that. But I can help you with your well. Hmm. Nikos. Olive. How do you know one to fix it? <laughs> A small village. I, uh, I don't have money to pay you. It's OK. I'm happy to help. Hello, Nikos. Oh, hello, Jed. Ah, thanks. But none for me today. Sorry, Nikos, next time. Okay, next time. Don't worry about them. It's not worth it. Who is Nikos? He works in engine room, in big ship, and goes everywhere in the world. An engineer? A mechanic. It's very good job. Someone died. How do you know? The bells. He says the villagers don't like my mother. Do you know why? No. Can you help me find out? Maybe. Ten euros. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty. Deal. Where are we taking this? For you, bus. You think of everything, don't you? Thanks, Andexi, Horis Nero, Aptipihi. Eh, he did not me after. Hey! Eh, he mini fionic des ekimonahi. Miazi di Safinas, Demboro, Natindo. <laughs> I promise. Scout's on now. <laughs> what happened to your watch?
thought you said he was a pharmacist. And plumber. A funeral man. Grease. Very talented. Apparently. What does that make you? Albanian. Papadopoulos, please be advised that no alterations can be made to the house without town planning approval. You told them. I don't know. Have you been able to find out anything yet? No one's talking. None of your business. I'm not going to eat that. Why? It's delicious. So the bus. Papa said you asked that something once. You are very resourceful. You give it me even lie. It was a compliment. Same thing. You're late. I'm starving and I'm ready to try my first octopus. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said. Oh. 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 And this one. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Manoli, Manoli, eat. Eat, eat. Don't leave your face. What are you doing? Separated. The village has given you evil eyes. I think I've lost my appetite. Me too. My tooth is very sore. Let me have a look. Uh, oh. Okay. Mm. Put your head back. Help with the infection. So this is like you do all the act work. Mm-hmm. Looking in people's mouths. Yep. And you don't like it? I used to. 
Yet you really have to start brushing. Otherwise, you will lose all your teeth. And you will never find a girl to kiss you. I told you, I don't care. Am I interrupting the party? No, not at all. I was just telling Jetty we'll never find a girlfriend if he doesn't brush his teeth. I don't want one. Oh, you will one day. Not you two. OK. So this is what they use in some parts of Africa to brush their teeth. Then you're in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Is it my turn now? Nothing wrong with your teeth. <laughs> Ella, your mother is looking for you. <sighs> Take a toothbrush. Thanks, Ola. Siga, siga. What brings you to Greece? Ah, uh, it's a long story. <laughs> I have time. She must be about 35. Mm. She looks older to me. Mm. And not married. Probably came here to steal a man. <sighs> I can't rest with her here. What are you eating? Hey! What are you eating? How? I'm not eating anything. It's a toothbrush. Hey! to this hatred. She stole. She stole my fiance and left without saying goodbye. How do you forgive that? You try, Krula. You try. Uh, Spiro, you wouldn't understand. He was the love of my life and she took him. That explains why she never wanted to come back. Just too proud. We'll never admit doing anything wrong. Oh, Popo. She just across the wrong woman. Who died now? <laughs> no one. It's a wedding. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have you learn. <laughs>
Poor, 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 poor. This poisonous sea coral. There is no poisonous sea coral here. She has evil eye. Huh? Oh. Don't worry, Olin. Speed will help you. Sorry, sorry. It must be done. What's the matter with her now? Eh? Come. It's time you and I had coffee. Can we talk about another time? My knee is really killing me. One coffee never killed anyone. <clears throat> I don't believe in fortune telling. Have you ever had your cup read before? No, I. Then how would you know? Hmm? Circle the cup with your right hand three times, and then put it upside down. What does it say? That you are in grave danger. What do you mean? That you are a very thick-skinned woman who doesn't know when she's not welcome. Just like her mother. No wonder my father left you. And by the way, he's dead. So now both of you can't have him. Does that make you feel happy? Really? Eleko is dead. Get out of my shop, you get out! Oh. Can I have another one, please? So, is there a taxi to Athens every day? Don't leave. Don't let her win. The entire village hates me and my family. Which is not true. You have two fans. Possibly three. <laughs> I see how Spiro looks after you. No, I made a huge mistake coming here. But I made an even bigger mistake pushing John away. I should have listened to Helen and see. Why? What did they say? They told me not to contact him. But I did. I just missed him so much. It's all just games, no truth anymore. Everyone is so scared that they will get hurt. So, they pretend they don't care. And then the games begin. And everyone loses. But I could have won him back. If he could not see who you are, he was not the right man for you. Secret. I want to have children and I want to get married one day. Because of the movies and ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage isn't the only way to be happy, Olive. All these old fashioned ideas about what love should look like is making so many people unhappy. You're very wise for such a young man. I have to grow up quickly. My mother was sick since I was a little boy. So I helped my father take care of her. I'm sorry, Nicholas. And don't be. My life is good, Olive. I'm very lucky.
Espera. Sí, la Eter. Mamatis. Tora, qui mate me tonico. Ti! Harula, calopedi ineonicos. Ven ineananginas tililefta. Café minas tos pititu. It's me, again. Yeah. No. Good. Any chance you can do my teeth for me? Uh, I don't have my equipment or anywhere oh, I can work. No problem, no problem. I arrange everything. Uh, okay, um, do you have something for sunburn? You must take a hot bath with vinegar immediately. Take out the steam. I don't have a bathroom, remember. <laughs> this is also very good. Uh, something for my head. I'm sorry about everything, but mostly I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. How is that, Tina? I'm sure she will find love again. Yeah, I don't think so. She loved my dad very much. I know. Aleko had no choice. The marriage was set when Harula was born. Don't blame your mother. Sometimes you don't choose love. It chose you. Thank you, Sparrow. Means a lot to me. Were you close to my parents? Yes, Kukla. But now is not the right time to talk. Harula will be back soon. Why is she still so angry after so many years? It's complicated, Olive. Come on. I don't need trouble. Thank you. You are bent. Need some protection. <laughs> Okay, I've got some cream now. I'm so embarrassed. I fell asleep on you tonight. <laughs> you were tired. Oh. Mm. I woke up this morning and you were gone. I have many things to do. Nothing. Thanks. <laughs> Wedding? No. It's 
Come on, I'll never get it. <laughs> Spiro, I've been stupid, woman. I know. Don't... Don't... Don't think about what I said the other day. You were the love of my life. It's no one else. I know. So, enough now with the Tina. Ah, told you. How is this possible? <laughs> no, you make all the wrong moves. You still beat me. <sighs> I'm just better than you. No one is better than me. Tara. Ali. Ali. Oh. Stop trying to distract oh, me. Oh, but you're still gonna lose. Harry's still for looking after the shop. What took you so long? Huh? And don't even think about lying to me. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hmm. This is amazing. My bed is on spare. Mm -hmm. Rula would never let him bring you all this. And here else? Hmm. Mm. Wow. Where are those bells coming from? What bells? Little bells ringing somewhere. I'm glad I ring your bells. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like the bells the papa's ring in church. Hmm. So it's true. What's true? The villagers say this house is haunted. But I never believed. Many years ago, when the communists moved into our village, got the priest who was helping the rebels in the mountains. They brought him here, to this house. And they tortured him. And when he died, they just threw his body down the well. They say you can still hear his bells ringing and that this house is cursed. That's why it was so badly damaged in the earthquake. Come. 
We go to my house. Sad after I was born. She never got better. So growing up, I become interested in how a woman thinks. And you don't like that. Yes, I do. No, oh, Carla. That moment you stop. You're scared. Of oh, what? Okay, so I may have been told that before. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the uncertainty hurts too much. I hate not knowing. You cannot let go. You cannot live. You have to surrender everything, even the pain. And this pain, here. It's a reminder that you are alive. It sounds terrifying. <laughs> so, my wise, gorgeous man. Mm. What are we gonna do today? Today? Mm -hmm. I thought we'd spend the day together. <laughs> Sorry, Kukla. I have other things I must do. So, who was that? Oh, some little ship having fun. <laughs> mm, so, um, I was thinking, um, maybe I should set up a small practice in the village to earn some money. Yes, you could. How long are you staying? I don't know. It's not like I have, um, much to rush home for. You mustn't stay for me, Olive. Is this just a holiday fling for you? It is what it is. You have a fling every summer? Don't make this bad, Olive. It doesn't have to be. Not every relationship has to be forever. Ben. Thanks for watering the garden for me. So, Nikos is your boyfriend now? Not anymore. Stupid house. Going to break like everything in your life. Jed, stop. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't been around. How about we go for a swim tomorrow when I get back from Athens? Why you go to Athens? I have some business to do. What business? None of your business. If you need money, I get back to you. You haven't spent it. I saved it. For what? Camera. But take it back. No, you've earned it. Fair and square. 
so you sell it your watch? No, I... I threw it down the well. Why didn't you tell me about the Papa's ghost? Because maybe he comes back. I don't think he's ever left. I heard his bells the other night. Jet, you don't have to be afraid. I'm pretty sure the Papa's was a good person. And he would never harm you. Only protect you. Here. Hold it tight. Close your eyes and make a wish. <sighs> Throw it down the well. the worse it'll be. Come on, think about something else. Imagine you're swimming in the sea, or picking olives. I promise I won't hurt you. Uh, it's my first time. Uh, I can see. Er is this a rendezvous with the olives? No mis estimate, put them fella me not in boy fisame. out to the goodness of my heart. It cost you 100 euros. Uh, no problem. As I was saying, um, my father had no siblings, so we believe the house would have been left to him. The name? 
Aleko Papadopoulos. I also wrote you um, a letter, but I never heard anything back. These things take time. Nah. Here is your letter. I will have to run um, a search and make inquiries. How long will that take? Months, maybe years. Are you kidding me? Would you like me to do it or not? Yes. Yes, we might as well get the process started. Thank you. And I advise you not to be tempted to start building until we establish true ownership. Now the sun won't bother you. Are you still angry with me? No, it's it's city planning. This is going to get me into a lot of trouble. You worry too much. They will never find out. Don't be so sure. No, yeah, super, yeah, tea. Just in time. This is Oli. Oli, this is my cousin Paleotti. He has been helping me unblock the well. Yes, Oli, Harika. Hi. Well, we are nearly finished, no? Yeah, nearly, nearly. <laughs> Is this what you've been busy with? Yes. And for this, you are angry with me. I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm happy you are talking to me. You really are quite wonderful. I know. Listen, I'm late. I need to meet Jed for a swim. I'll see you later. Olive, I'm looking for Jet. Have you seen him? No. Everyone is always looking for him. I'm sorry, it's just, um, I was supposed to meet him and I was a bit late. I, I'm a bit worried. Don't waste your breath. He is impossible. Impossible! Thank <laughs> you. 
Please help. It's Jet. He's fallen down the well. And Nikos has gone up the mountain to unlock it. Oh, watch the shop. Come here, move. Tipatis cabanis, cati egre, topietus papas. Giorgo, veretis cara, rigora. Audience to watch the water, alright? Just hurry! Jet's fallen down the well! Come here, put the racks back quickly. Yorgos, go help him! Ligora! Ligora! What are you waiting for, Nikos? Get down there! Sake, we don't have time for superstitions! I'm going to phone Gurula. You want the coffee? Olive did not find him. Who knows what would have happened? If it wasn't for her, he wouldn't have been done that well. I have had enough of this, Karula. Our niece was the only one brave enough to go down the well. I don't want to hear one more bad thing but about Spiro. Me. Enough! hospitals anymore. The last time I was in one, I was holding my dad's hand, praying for him to open his eyes, and he never did. You're not running from the fear of hospitals. You're running from the fear of yourself. I'm sorry, I 
hair got so heavy with you the other day. It's okay. No, it's not. It's what I always do. I meet a man and I so badly want them to be the one. I forget to enjoy what's in front of me. such a wonderful, beautiful woman, darling. Any man would be very lucky to have you. I love that little boy so much. I know. He loves you. This house is government property now. It seems your father didn't like to pay tax, like many of his fellow citizens. He thought he was smart, so he ran before he could be arrested. This house will be valued, sold, and the back tax is paid to the government. Here is your 200 euro fine for making alterations. Kind of money. Maybe you should have thought about this before you started messing with the Greek history. Please, I'm sorry. It's too late for sorry. <sighs> no! Ugh! You are a conniving, horrible woman with a chip on your shoulder bigger than the Acropolis. <laughs> no, you are going to hear me out for a change. Can you not spare anyone just a little joy, just a little happiness? I guess not, because your heart is too hard. Don't you get it? They had to leave, because otherwise my father would have been arrested for tax evasion. And what do you think it was like for them starting in a new country? Actually, what would you know? You've never left this village. Happy to bully your kind husband and tell lies to all of your friends while you read their coffee cups. Well, are you happy now? Do you really believe my father would have been the answer to all of your problems? We make our own happiness, Arula. It's a very exciting day today. This crazy Greek man drove all the way from Athens to shout at me. I think he would have had a good laugh watching me get into trouble. Olive. I'm sorry. For everything. I'm sorry. I'm a stubborn woman who doesn't know when to stop. My sister raised a wonderful woman. Yes, I am your aunt. I couldn't tell you. In my heart, she was dead. Eleko. Was 
supposed to be mine. Then one night, my big sister and the love of my life just disappeared. Not a word, not a goodbye. And I could never forgive her. She held on to the secret for 35 years. Maybe ashamed. Or it hurt too much. Who knows? But I think uh, Leko inherited a lot of his father's uh, business problems. I would never have left the village with him. <laughs> Atina was always up for an adventure. So hard to believe my father ever did anything wrong. He was, um... He was such a wonderful man. Yes, Kukla. But... But our souls don't die. We move on to a better place when we are ready. And now time has come. Do you know that Jetmir means good life in Albanian? <laughs> Maybe this was his? Oh, he's going to be okay, Cookie. It is. I promise. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I will speak to our cousin at city planning about the house. I will sort out this mess I've made. Okay. Okay. Love comes in many shapes and sizes, especially little ones. You saved my life. You saved mine. I... I lost my toothbrush. Can you make me another? <laughs> I'm so happy you're not finished with what you came here to do. Finished what? Ole, you're <laughs> still speaking English? What I'm trying to say... Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing here? Your mom was beside herself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she was. She has a lot of answering to do. So you know. We knew 
you could have been run over, drowned, or abducted by some mad Greek. Hey, I'm Albanian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. I missed you. We were worried about you. Oh, this is such a great surprise. This is good for you. You look amazing. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I forget to give watch back to you. Jet. I can't believe you did that for me. Hi, Ellen. I love you. We all do. Oh, and uh, we came to tell you that you won the competition for Naturally White. What? Hmm. Yeah. Also, Dr. Jacob says you can come back to your job anytime. <laughs> if you ever decide to come back. an umbrella over you, protecting you. And um, a long trip. Agapimu, tell me something I don't know. Finally, I can breathe again. Now come, tell me what else you see. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, there is a man waiting for Olive at the airport. He plays the um, uh, Spiro. Spiro, how do you call this this thing? The flute. Uh, yes. No. The trumpet. Uh, maybe. A sexy phone. Yes, something like that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's music. It's music. Ah. Yeah. Anyway, now you put your finger in a cup and you make a wish. Bravo. Now your wish will come true and Olive will meet her new husband. It's not what I wish for. Athena. <laughs> There's no grit. 
Open up a ruler. Want to try? Mm. That's it. Mm. There you go. Now you can add dental hygiene to your resume. It's huh. hard still. <laughs> you look like a film star. I don't know. Maybe when the walls finally fall down. This is for you, Kukla. And this, this is for me. I come to collect my things. I knew it was you. Take this with you for protection. I've had this with you. Yes, with you. Can you hear that too? Someone out there to save my soul To love me in the good times To hold me in the bad times Someone to make me smile anew Who really paints those gray skies blue I was looking for a good life Just looking for a good life A good life And baby I was crying Cause all around was dying Until the day that you came along You opened up those blue skies and now we only get highs I never found a love so strong And it just keeps on rolling It keeps me going on Now baby, it's a good life I got you by my side Tonight, baby 